Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, looking at a bunch of rain. Uh, We're going to have that throughout the day and cloudy and clearing out later. And making way for a clear, dry Halloween, it looks like, for trick-or-treating. But it will be chilly, a high of only about 50 tomorrow. Chilly. Yeah, the sweatshirt, the jacket, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting ready to um, wear the boots. I have a couple of new pairs of boots I'm very excited about. And yeah, doing it all. So the colder weather, getting ready, getting prepared. Um, I did tell you about how I bought boots like a month or two ago. I saw I was in BJ's and I just found my size. I didn't even try them on. I'm like, oh, these look like good snow boots. 30 bucks. Bought them. That was it. I don't even try them on. And uh, I'm set. I'm set for the winter. So Love it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Candy off the air still lamenting uh, the Giants and how bad I can't both get over teams. it. I just I can't. Yeah. Um. Out of the 32 teams in football, and forget about records, all right? The Jets are 4-3. and three. It's, it's insane they're over 500. Uh, but the Jets and Giants, uh, definitely at the bottom of the NFL for, for talent, for, for, for actual play on the field. It's really, uh, it's been a rough go for, uh, for oh, both, man. you know? And how about, you ever hear in a game where three centers, they had to use three centers? Because the other two were... Well, they were dropping like flies everywhere. But the, you know, game starter center, I don't know his name, at the Jets, he got injured. Then his fill-in got injured. And then they had a third. And then that happened with the Giants and the quarterbacks. Do you, did I hear right that if that um, last quarterback, I forget his name right now. Um, DeVito. DeVito. If he got hurt, it would have been Barkley? Saquon Barkley? Right. So did I hear that right? So teams usually carry two quarterbacks and then an emergency quarterback. And it might have been Saquon Barkley might be their emergency quarterback. That's yeah. what I heard them say. I thought I was I thought I was losing my mind. Yeah. Uh wow. you know, it's tough go. Tough go. But Whoa. Giants can focus on the draft next year and uh, please yeah. focus on something that works. Yeah. Uh so Saturday I uh, decided to take uh, my three kids and four of Leah's friends. There were seven total uh, uh, young adults in the car with me, Candy. Uh, We went to Dark Knight, Long Island, the uh, spooky walk at our uh, amphitheater, at the Catholic Health Amphitheater at Bald Hill. And it was great. We went, I mean, really well done. I got to tell you, I went last year, this year... I thought was a lot better, a lot better done, um, and scary, scarier than I remember it being last year. Uh, so scary. I'm not going to mention her name, but one of the uh, young adults that was uh, in my car that went to this uh, got very frightened during one of the sections. Uh, we we had to we had to walk out. We had to we we left. Oh, yeah. See, I don't yeah. like scary. Yes, and and by the way, it was like uh, the, half of us, uh, like a couple of the other girls, uh, this was their first time ever going to a spooky walk. They'd never been, and they were uh, pretty frightened to go in uh, as well. So it, it was fun. They had a good time. Everything calmed down. We went to Wendy's after. They all had Frosties and burgers. And oh, they recovered quickly. Yeah, they recovered quick, but it was it was dicey. There Listen, one time second. we were in a haunted house thing it was Mm. very scary i didn't go in because i i don't like it so casey had a friend evan had a friend they all went in i'm waiting on the outside i have to say casey made a little pee pee oh oh boy yes Hmm. he must have never let him live that down how old how old was he i would say he might have been 11 oh my oh it was it was some pretty now (laughs) If you have a picture from that night, I think you should get that on a T-shirt and now send he it said to he re- And I believe him. He said he really, really had to go, and he didn't know what to do, and then he got <laughs> scared, and, you know, nature took care of it, and I get it. Yeah, I felt bad for uh, the young lady uh, who was in my care that was not having it halfway through the uh, – the, actually, we, we were almost done. We were probably 80% of the way through. 
of the uh, the spooky walk there, and uh, be- before we uh, took a right hand turn and left the course, uh, but. Um, I felt bad, and it was okay. We were all like, Let, let's go. Let's get out of here. Time for some Frosties and Nuggets, all right? Um, but we had a good time on Saturday, uh, and uh, and all was well. Um, Candy, I want to get to uh, this article about grammar, because you know how I feel about grammar, right? I do. I do. And sometimes you catch me doing something incorrectly. Um, whether it's a mispronouncing a word or for, for sure, misspelling a word, uh, I am a stickler. It annoys me, but get this, a study found it really does stress people out in a physical way and even activates your fight or flight response. Researchers in England found that when you know something is grammatically wrong, your body kicks into stress mode, your heart rate goes up, and yes, it, it, it becomes like a health thing. So it's not wow. just me. It's not me being a stickler for grammar. It actually affects the way you feel when you see bad grammar. It, it, you do have a reaction, absolutely. Well, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things in life, and... Uh, just being uh, okay with spelling things wrong is not the right way to do things. You gotta, you gotta I fix understand. It. And I had a principal in my kid's school telling me that spelling isn't important anymore, and my head almost blew up. Uh, well, at at some point he uh, he may be right. At the I, at the point it was we're a at woman. right now, I called her horse teeth. Uh, and oh yes. my God! What is wrong with you? Uh, she had teeth like a horse, and I didn't like her. Um, you know, you're not very kind. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, so, sometimes you come out with some things where I could see people yelling at the radio, like, Candy is not kind. I am a very kind person. But when someone tells me that spelling is no longer important hmm. and that they can't have spelling bees because they don't want to hurt the other children's feelings. Well, well that's ridiculous. Okay, that, that yeah. gets me going. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I'm all for competition, and uh, you know, you if you if you're not good enough to uh, to win or do as good as you want to do, you don't even have to win. If you're not as good enough to be where you want to be, you gotta you gotta go practice. As a matter of fact, let me tell you a little story, Ken. Oh, I was at uh, Friday. Uh, so Leah plays tennis four days a week. Uh, and that's her training in the off season. We were at the tennis facility Friday afternoon, and one of the instructors who who she does not have saw me in the facility, and he turns to me and says, "Didn't I just see you? Like I feel like I'm seeing you more often. Didn't I just see you two other times this week?" And I said, "Yeah." I said, "As a matter of fact, Leah." has been begging to play more. She wants to get better. She has the drive. And this guy, who's a very incredible coach, he coaches a lot of the top girls on on Long Island, specifically in Suffolk County, he says, you know, that's the attitude I try to instill in everyone. He says, if you want to get better, like you don't have to get better, but if you want to get better, you got to get here. You got to practice. You you got to put your mind to it. If you're here practicing and your opponent is, he goes through this whole thing. If your opponent's home doing nothing and you're here practicing, you're going to have the upper hand. And that's just the way it is in life. That's Kenny. just the way it is. I mean, as you know, my son wrestled for years and he wrestled 12 months out of the year, even though wrestling season is not 12 months. And a lot of the wrestlers did that the ones that wanted to be really good and those that didn't fell by the wayside. So I totally understand. Yeah. Little, uh, little, little motivation in the kids today. Yeah. We need, we and need now that. he's very disciplined and uh, a part of that process. And this will happen for Leah as well, made him a very good person in the workforce. He's very Agreed. disciplined. He shows up on time. He gives it his all. And yeah, those are all traits you get from, sports that you do like this yeah a little competition never hurt that's for sure never Mm -mm. uh candy we're less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment everything from nashville 
to Hollywood. Uh, we got your National Days good news stories coming up in the 8 o'clock hour as well. We got a bunch of rain clearing out here. Going to be cloudy, drizzly, about 60. Clears out later. Halloween tomorrow, you're trick-or-treating. The high is only 50, and it could dip below that uh, when the sun goes down. So definitely a coat hoodie, something for the trick-or-treaters uh, tomorrow underneath the costume. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.